Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Miss Yvette. And first of all, I just want to say I am so sorry. It's been two months since I posted my last video and ugh, I wanted to post a video sooner, but between being depressed over the holidays and working a lot and my heart issues, it's been really difficult for me to sit down and film a video. I hope you guys can forgive me. As you can see by the title of this video, we're going to be talking about how foster children are affected by the holiday season. And I just want to start off by saying that it's been really difficult for me, especially this season. I just feel like a lot's been happening behind the scenes in my life and the holidays and family situations have really played a major factor in the way I feel. To begin, I just want to talk about the way foster children feel while they're in the foster care system. If you're new to my channel, I just want to say that I have been in foster care. I grew up in the foster care system from the time I was eight years old until I emancipated at the age of 18. So I spent about 10 years time in foster care. I've been in several foster homes. I've been in um, children's homes and I've gone back with my family two times only for it to fail. So a lot of my experiences in foster care are so a lot of my so a lot of my stories come from the times that I've been in foster care and how I felt going through this entire process. And the holidays are a big one. The holidays are a time where you're supposed to be spending time with your family and there's supposed to be a lot of love and peace and happiness, baking cookies spending time with your loved ones. But for the average child that's in foster care, that's not necessarily the case. A lot of foster children are placed in foster homes where they're living with a family that they're not very familiar with. And when the holiday season comes around, that can be a very stressful time for a foster child. A foster child might feel very conflicted as far as not being sure about whether they want to spend time with their foster family for the holiday season or if they're wanting to be with their parents for the holiday season. I know for myself, it's always felt very uncomfortable spending the holidays with a foster family because Clearly they're not my family and even though some foster families have been very warm and accommodating during the holiday season, I've always felt out of place. Like, almost like they have to have me there. Like it's their, they just have to and I don't necessarily feel like this is where I should be. Like I should be with my own family, but for many foster children, a lot of times they can't be with their families because they're still on drugs, they're still going through programs, or maybe um, the biological parents are just out of the picture altogether. I've had that happen for periods of time in my life where my mom has given up and has just kind of decided to do her own thing and not try to get us kids back. And then my dad just never tried altogether. But that is the harsh reality for some foster children. So during the holiday season, it can bring up a lot of emotions where the foster child wants to have their own family time with their parents. And when they're not getting that, they're feeling like, well, I guess my family doesn't want me or my family can't get it together for me so now I have to be here and it's uncomfortable and awkward and it can really create stress on a foster child. Now that I am out of the foster care system as an adult the holiday season still bothers me because now that I'm a grown up and social media is very prevalent in this time, day and age, um, 
I see a lot of, of my friends, um, colleagues, uh, people that I've met that I still follow on social media having picture perfect holidays with their family and friends and I still feel very left out where my life isn't perfect my life isn't together even in the times where I felt more put together it still hurts me that I can't be with my dad for the holidays and even with my family, they have their own dramas or they don't feel like meeting up or, you know, they just, it never feels right. It just always seems like I can never really have a joyous holiday. Even coming onto YouTube, it's been really difficult for me to even sit down on camera and talk about these things because Everything within me just wants to have things together. I want to be like everybody else. I don't want to feel like the foster child who is struggling or doesn't have things together. And I, I hurt a lot. I hurt a lot on the inside around this time because it's just a really big reminder that my family is broken. My family has fallen apart. And it's just been like this from the time I was a child. So I wish things were different. They're not. But being a mom has been a blessing in itself because it's a way for me to pass on to the next generation the happiness that comes from the holidays. Roxy, are you meowing? My cat's meowing. Sorry. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I mean, the positive to all this is I have a beautiful daughter. If you're new to my channel, I have a nine-year-old daughter who is the most amazing girl in the entire world. And as her mother, I get to create the memories that she's gonna have. I get to make things better. And that really brings me a lot of peace this time of year because even though for myself, I have lots of bad memories of holidays. I mean, I have memories of my dad busting out windows because he's drunk and is fighting with my mom or my grandma and wanting to break into the house. They won't let him in because he's belligerent drunk and so he decides to bust out the windows or my mom goes out there and they fight. I mean, I've seen pregnant women getting beat up. I'm not gonna name who in my family, but I've seen lots of really bad things around the holidays where the holiday season just is a huge reminder of how things are bad and things are broken and all I want to do is feel love from people and love from my family. But for my daughter's sake, she has me as her mama and as her mom, it's been such an honor and blessing to be able to give her really good Christmases and give her the peace and stability of having a safe home, having me to love her. Um, even later today, we're actually gonna be putting up our Christmas tree. So maybe I might vlog that a little bit, putting up the Christmas tree. Every year we get a real tree, but this year caved in and got a fake tree. I just kind of want to see what that's like because it can be a lot of work sweeping around the tree and having to water it and and then I have two cats so the cats like to mess with the tree so I'm gonna give a fake tree a try and maybe you guys can come along for the ride while we put up the tree and the decorations and we might even do some decorating of some cookies or a gingerbread house because I've I've been telling my daughter that we're gonna do it and I've kind of broken some promises and I feel bad. So I think we're gonna run to the store later today and maybe do some of that. So maybe you guys can come on the journey with us later today. So anyways, I just wanna come on here and say thank you so much for being here, watching my videos, and thank you for supporting my channel if you have subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe now. It would really bless me, especially during this time when it's been so hard on the holiday season for me that honestly, like 
the last five people that have subscribed to my channel, I have been like, yes, thank you so much. Like every person counts. I am always happy to see new people come and comment on my videos and join while, you know, they join and subscribe and it, it really blesses my heart. It, it means a lot to me. So thank you so much for watching this video. And if you have any video ideas, please leave them in a comment down below because I'm going to be filming quite a few videos over the next week and I want to talk about things that maybe you guys want to hear about. So anyways, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.